Hey, Josh, would you describe yourself as a better pass catcher or blocker at, at tight end? Um, yeah, so I think naturally um, pass catcher just because I grew up a wide receiver. Um, I transitioned to tight end halfway through high school. Um, but especially this last year of college, I think I really improved in inside the box um, and blocking and just kind of technique and footwork. Um, so if that answers your question, uh, definitely pass blocking, but I think I've improved a lot in, in the box. What, so, What is your official size and how much does that help you uh, as a tight end? You said my size. Yeah, yeah. How big are you officially and maybe how much does that size help you? Yeah, I'm about six, six and a half. Um, right now I'm hanging between 245 and 250. Um, and helps a lot, man. Uh, I came into UC at, at like 2.30. And really, they wanted me light because um, they were spreading me out a, lo a little bit more. Um, but as we got like into my fifth, fourth, fifth year, they asked me to put on some weight. Um, and in the box, it just makes a huge difference, even 5, 10 pounds, um, whether it's confidence or whatever. Um, yeah. How quickly did they sort of get you that Titans hat, Josh? Uh, we had them. Re we had them ready to go. We had them all lined up, right? Right when I got off the call of Raves. And what was that call like? Uh, it was pretty cool. Me and Ra me and Raves have talked in the past. Um, obviously, him and Coach Fick were roommates um, at O State, and he's been d down at UC a couple times. Um, and it was just a good conversation. You know, he's uh, we're both just excited for me to get down there um, and contribute any way I can to the team. And yeah. Was your versatility one of the things that they kind of focused on when they were talking to you throughout the process? Um, yeah, they liked it. Yeah, they liked the idea that I can do a little bit of both. Um, you know, kind of be an inline blocker and spread me out um, to go catch a ball. Um, and not only that, but I think I have good special teams value. Um, and that's what I'll be. Sorry, I'm getting a call. Um, it said that in your bio that uh, you had offers coming out of high school from Big Ten and SEC teams. What made you decide to stay put at Cincinnati rather than going for a Power Five program? Yeah. Um, I mean, I knew I wanted to stay relatively close to home. Uh, and so it was kind of like O State, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, and obviously UC. Uh, but once I took my visit to Cincinnati, and I met with Coach Fick and uh, Coach Denbrock at the time. Uh, I just felt like it was the right fit for me. Um, I really liked what Coach Fick had to preach, and I uh, just kind of bought in. You've done some kind of H-back, fullback stuff uh, in your career at Cincinnati also, Josh? Yes, sir. Power eye. Okay. Uh, that, then you, you work uh, pretty well in that uh, as well? Yes, sir. I feel really comfortable in that. Uh, that was something we kind of did new this past year. Um, but you know, I mean, anything, anything the coaches ask, I'm gonna try to do it. So, what went into making the switch in high school from receiver to tight end? Was that recruiting motivated? Was it size? Just kind of why did you, uh, why'd you do that? Uh, that wasn't really my decision. Our coach just, just came up to me and said, uh, we think you'd be one of the best tight ends in the country. Uh, I think we think you'd be really good for us. And, um, they asked me to put on a little bit of weight, uh, spent some time in the box and, um, you know, here we are. So, where did you where did you think you would go uh, in the draft, and maybe what's kind of what was the weight kind of like to hear your name called? I'm sorry, can you say that again? So, what where did you anticipate going in the draft, and what was the weight like uh, to hear your name called today? Yeah, or get the um, call? I heard anything uh, three through five, uh, but truthfully, uh, I just kind of let it come as it came you know I, I didn't put too much pressure on myself all I've heard uh, throughout this process is just to have fun with it that it only happens once um, and to enjoy it uh, but when that call came uh, coach Raves I don't even know if you could understand what I was saying my heart was pounding um, uh, that, was a, that was a pretty cool moment and I got I got probably about 100 uh, family members and friends here so uh, it was pretty cool to share that with them as well so maybe one or two scouting reports say that, that you were kind of almost underutilized as a receiver um, at Cincinnati. You think there's kind of some, some more untapped potential there? 
Josh, in terms of uh, catching the ball? Um, yeah, I think, I, I mean, I expect a lot of myself. Um, I hold myself to a high standard. Um, but at Cincinnati, you know, I just try to do what they ask me to do. Uh, you know, I, I'm a strong believer and most important stat on the sheet is a W at the end of the day. And whatever that takes, um, you know, for the team to get the win, uh, you know, I, I'm all about that. So I try not to think about that too much. Uh, just kind of be in the right places at the right times. Ball will find me when it does. So. You know the Titans offense uses a lot of 12 and 13 personnel. How much would you say, you know, you're playing with Leonard Taylor uh, there at Cincinnati? Like, how much do you think that prepared you to be able to transition to that type of offense here? Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, fortunately for me, like, I had to know when he was more of the inbox guy, um, kind of the Y, and we called it, I was the H or F um, in the NFL. And um, so I kind of had to know both. Uh, and at times it can be maybe a lot when you're first learning the playbook. Um, but it was really cool to, I felt like I really understood the playbook conceptually. Uh, I kind of knew what everybody was doing. Uh, so honestly, I think it'll be a pretty smooth transition uh, these next couple months, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So what's the fastest you've ever run the 40? Probably four, I might've got a four, six, five, but four, six, nine is really, probably where I'm at, right around there, what I did and, at the combine. And you ended up, I guess, on Bruce Feld, Feldman's, I think, freak freak list. Did you know you're on his freak list? Yeah, I did know that, yeah. What what, what do you got to do to get on the freak list? You think you deserve to be on there? Uh, I'm not really sure uh, the requirements to be a part of that, but um, I think it's just kind of a like, for example, Trey Tucker and Tyler Scott were on it as well. And those two guys – I mean, they're animals. You know, Trey Tucker, he's 5'9", but can squat a house. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'm six six and a half, two fifty, 250, um, and I think I can move really well. Um, and so I think that's kind of probably why I'm part of it, so. Is there a tight end in the league that you've been a fan of and, and probably my guest in Travis Kelsey, maybe one of them? Yes, sir. That's always been uh, – I guess my role model in a way, I mean, the guy I try to look to um, when Sunday comes around, but it's just obviously because he's a Cincy guy. Um, he gets the ball in his hands a lot. Um, and if you're not looking at the best tight end, you know, he, he's one of the best to ever do it. Um, I mean, I think, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, you always should be looking towards the best. You know, that should always be your goal. You mentioned that. You had a connection with, with Mike Rabel a little bit earlier. How, how long does that go back? A few years? And, and what have your impressions been of him uh, over the, the years? Um, so I, my first, first time I met Vrabes was at the Pro Day uh, last year when Dez and AP and all those guys were going through it. Um, and just really good dude. I remember he was talking to our team uh, after practice. Uh, during spring ball, and he really emphasized the importance of uh, effort and fundamentals. Uh, he said it, they travel with you wherever you go. And, you know, that's a lot of the same thing we believe at Cincinnati with Coach Fick. Um, and it was just really cool to hear, uh, you know, the things that we practice and we believe in at Cincinnati. Um, you know, it, it's the same thing at the NFL. And so I think it'll be uh, a smooth transition for me. So. You gotten to know anyone else on the Titan staff yet? Huh? Have you gotten to know anyone else on the Titan staff yet? I had a couple meetings. Uh, I just got off the phone with Coach Deuce, uh, the Titan coach, and uh, he's pretty cool. I like I, I like him. Uh, good personality, a, a really personable guy. I'm I'm, I'm excited to um, get started with him. Considering he's been working with Derrick Henry the last few years, not a bad guy to be coached by. <laughs> No, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he probably expects the best out of people, so I'm really excited about that. Where, where are you now? Where'd you end up watching the draft? You, you step outside uh, at home, or where are you? Uh, so I'm like two minutes away from my parents' house, this place called Knights of Columbus, uh, just here in Cincinnati. Um, my dad's one of nine, so there's a, I mean, there's a bunch of family in there right now. It's just probably the quietest I could find around. We appreciate that. Yeah. Anybody else in the room? Uh, anybody else joining us remotely have anything for Josh? 
I may dive in one more. I mean, how'd you end up a football player? And then uh, did you play some basketball too growing up? Yeah, I mean, growing up, I played every sport you could imagine. Uh, my parents started me out in gymnastics when I was a youngin. Uh, but I played basketball and football through high school. Um, and football is just something, one, I've always been good at. And it's just something I've always found fun, uh, which I think is really important. You know, I mean, if you're going to if you're going to play this game and make it a, make a career out of it, you got to have fun with it. Uh, so, yeah, man. How quickly did you grow out of that gymnastics body? <laughs> for, uh, pretty quick. I think I only did that for a year or two. Um, but a lot of sports growing up, for sure. Baseball, basketball, track, volleyball, tennis, golf, anything you can imagine. So, um, yeah.